<laughs> ah, guys, I'm gonna be doing oh, hang on. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing this full face of makeup today. All brand new makeup, all brand new brushes. So if you wanna see how I created this look and what I use, just keep on watching. When you smell better, you feel better. So I've got a bunch of new makeup. I've been having it like, just like add up. So as far, you know what? Let's actually sit down and film like a trying out makeup. I've got this in the post today. Um, by Robert Anderson and they put my name on it how cute let's have a drink out of this she also gave me like a handwritten like letter not letter introducing you to our new sculpt and shape makeup sponge which is this I've dampened it because I'm going to use all my new products today I feel like my voice always goes croaky when I'm like doing these videos I'm like no um I think I'm going to do my skin first which I normally don't do. Let me start off with brows because I need to glue them down. I actually trimmed my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't like how they look. I know they'll grow out, but I trimmed them um, when I, oh yeah, I had COVID guys. So two weeks ago I had COVID and I was really bored and all you could do, well, all I could do was rest. Like the first couple of days were really bad to wear. I couldn't even like, stand up without feeling exhausted or like oh my god my energy levels just went completely down so i trimmed my brows so i was bored and then i regretted it like two days after this is the pink honey honey glue original super hold so i've heard so much about this you need to wet this product so i'm just going to use the setting spray i'm going to use today to wet the product and just spray it twice and see how we get on. Um, so I'm gonna use a spoolie, mascara one, whatever you wanna call it, in here, and just kinda like mix it up. This is the first time me using this one. I have used the darker one before, the one they don't activate with water, but I thought I would try this on camera today. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it in my brow. Is this too wet? I might have might have been too wet. This is my bad brow as well, guys. I've trimmed this one and it just was a disaster. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, like, my hairs are flicking upwards at the end and I'm like, how the hell have I even done that? Like, I don't even understand how it started doing that. I'm going to take my finger and just push it down. And I don't have no makeup wipes. <laughs> don't ask why. I feel like makeup wipes were going to up in price, though. I don't think they would ever, like, go up to three quid for a pack of wipes. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm used to getting the Aldi ones, but the Aldi ones that I get are never in stock anymore. I feel like soon this like bold brow, fluffy brow will go out of fashion. But I can't predict when it's going to be. I feel like I like it a little bit less fluffy now compared to like lockdown days when I had it super like crazy. See this one? is the better one because i don't have a makeup wipe i've got some toner and some cotton pads why my voice going does it tell you how much this holds oh it does 473 milliliter that ain't bad this is the alley toner on a little cotton pad and just go around my brows at the top so it's not causing any disruption with my foundation because i don't want it to be glued anywhere so primer wise actually i've got this serum that i like to put on before i like to put like a thin serum on before i put my makeup on um if i want it to look really nice and hydrated Air, is it airborian um korean skin therapy bamboo super serum so it's just a super thin serum like it's the thinnest serum i've ever used see guys how thin it is can you see how thin it is? It runs everywhere. It's super thin. I'm just going to massage that into the skin. And this is probably the thinnest serum I've ever used to wear my... Oh yeah, I would definitely want to use this before putting my makeup on. Because it just... Like, like your skin just literally drinks up the hydration. So... And you want to make sure in these winter months that your skin is nice and hydrated. Aeroborean, don't know how to pronounce it, like I said. 
Glow Cream. It offers a luminous blur effect and a fresh complexion in a simple step. This multi-benefit cream with illuminating effect helps to give front skin a perfect looking finish. Glow Cream helps to brighten, beautify and moisturise while also having to smooth the skin in like this so you can just see. It's quite a thinner consistency. It reminds me of Strobe Cream by MAC. Um, I'm mainly going to pop this on my cheeks. In fact, I'm going to put it everywhere. That is a really nice glowy product. Product. I was like getting too like scared of it and like too much like glitter in it. Do you know what I mean? Like it looks too intense. Um, I'm combination skin guy, so I don't want to look ridiculously shiny because if I look too shiny, it just looks oily on me. Oh my god, that is that is so thin on the skin. Oh my god. Be Perfect just launched a new foundation. Well, the first foundation, Chroma Cover. You've got Cool, Warm and Neutral. They just named the shades like C for Cool, W for Warm and then N for Neutral. So it's super easy. And then one is the lightest um, and then 13 being the darkest, I think. That's the colours they go up to. But this is 1995. It is a matte foundation and you get 20% off of anything Be Perfect with my code because I'm a brand ambassador, so 20 blend. This is the PR package. It reminded me of like Matrix with like those like lines down it. So I've got three colours here like that. It actually reminded me of the packaging of the Il Maquillage one. Like that. So it comes in a little package like that. The pump is a bit like wider as well. So this is W3. That's N2. Oh, I've got a little bit of that dark one on there. And this is N5. Oh, let me switch that around. N5. So you can just see there. I think the middle one definitely, undertone wise, matches me the best. Let me shoot you guys in. So we've got W3, N2 and N5. N5 definitely is when I'm more tan to my summer colour. I do like three pumps on the back of my hand. It is like a very thick consistency. Like I know you can tell it's very thick. It doesn't move much. Like you can tell it's not runny whatsoever. Um, this is a matte foundation. You guys know I'm more of a glowy person. So I'm going to see how I feel about this foundation. I've got the Morphe times Ariel, 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 the set. Um, on my last video I showed you guys, so I'm gonna pop that on using this brush from that collection. And I'm just gonna pop it on and pat into the skin. And then on this side, I'll put it on with a sponge and see what I prefer. Mm. So, because it's a matte foundation, it is feeling a little bit thicker, and obviously it's feeling thicker because I'm putting it on with a brush. Let's see how I feel about this. I want to see how it sits on the skin, like, at the end as well. I feel like when it comes to foundations, I don't know if I'll like it until the end. Especially because it's matte. Colour-wise... I think that's the right colour because when I put a bronzer on everything, I'm trying to go light with my foundation, guys. So I'm just going to make sure I'm being careful around the brow because if you get foundation of your brow, it goes like bloody grey, doesn't it? So I'm just patting that on. Just see coverage where there's be a brush. It's a lot of coverage. I'll put it on with my brush first and just blend it out then. I'm going to use a tip for concealer, so I'm going to use this big part just to put it on. So I'm de definitely guessing that this side is going to be more sheer. I might prefer this side as well because it makes it more... I feel like sponges make stuff more glowy looking and more soft. It is super like... It is actually really full cool coverage. So we'll wait and see if it oxidises because it might have... Or it might just get darker the more layers you put on. I definitely like the look of it better with the sponge because it shears it out slightly. Can you see what I mean? Can you see the difference? I'm going to take that and just go over this side now. Just to even me all out because I do prefer the sponge side. This is the Huda Beauty Light Tantor Contour Slash Bronzing 
cream. It's like sold out everywhere. I don't know if it's back in stock yet, but like for a good two months it was sold out. Then I went to Boots and they had it. I was like, thank God. It's £26 and you get 11 grams with it. I'm gonna put that on just where I'm wanting it. So cheekbones up here a little bit. But you can already see like when I blend it out, it's just amazing how it just blends out to the skin. And then all the way underneath here. And then a little bit underneath my lip. Underneath my nose slightly. And down the nose ever so slightly. My Technic brush, this is fantastic. If you've ever seen this brush, like I'm pretty sure they're like, what, like four or five pounds. The Selman Superdrug, the synthetic hairs on this brush is fantastic. Blend that in with that brush. And as you can see, it just melts into the skin. Like it is so nice. It's it's more for like your subtle kind of look. Really buff it out. But it's super creamy. Like look at that. That is so nice. I've not used a cream bronzer product that's been this easy to blend into the skin. But again, it is less like intense. So if you do like a really sharp cream contour, maybe go darker. Um, so maybe go for the meat. I think it's a medium colour. I think they've got five, six shades in this. Um, but this is really nice on. It's just really nice on, yeah. So for concealer, I've got these um, Alze Lacura Take Cover Concealer in the shade medium and light. Tem millilitres in it and the four quid 3.99 like you can't go wrong so i'm gonna go in with the medium color first and then see how it looks and i think i might go in with the light color as well they're a little bit thicker they are full coverage don't get me wrong uh, i've just put body foundation on my <laughs> my track is we use this side of the sponge now and i'm just gonna tap this underneath the eye and then over the eye a little bit as well because we're going to use this as like a base today. And then, so I'm generally like avoid that area. Going down the side of the nose just ever so slightly as well. Um, and then you can just take your brush that you blended it out with. Cream bronzer and it'll just like sort itself out. I'm going to take a little bit more of the medium colour on my eyelids. I'm going to put a little bit more on that one as well. But yeah guys, I had COVID, um, that's why I'm a little bit behind on like work and stuff. Like I'm a full time makeup artist and January is a little bit of a slower month anyways for makeup appointments because like other than christenings and stuff, no one really goes out because it's like no one really drinks in January. I mean I did, but not a lot of people do actually drink in January. I'm actually going to skip going in with a lighter one because I feel like that's light enough. I've got a lot of different powders in front of me here. So, Technic Mineral Powder Foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain. Then I've got this Catrice Energy Enzyme Peeling Powder. I don't know if this is going to be light enough, this porcelain colour. Oh my god, is it coming off? What happened to my muscles? Can you, feel, can you hear that? It will not come off. Oh my god, it's not, it's not like even let me use it. I feel like this is the universe's way of saying, Hannah, don't use this powder. <laughs> That's just gone all over me. Yeah, so this, oh, actually, I feel like because that was a lot of work, I'm going to have to use that one. I'm going to use the sponge as well, but I'm going to use the inside part. Um, Maybe, maybe I can get the sticker off now. That sticker will not want to come off for some reason. Tap that into the top bit. I'm just going to pop that underneath my eye. And I'm kind of going to blend it in as I go along. Because it's a damp sponge. But I definitely think this, this has got more of a pinky tinge to it because it's porcelain. I don't know if it's on camera or not. This is the colour... Technic Colour Fix Water Resistant Press Powder. 
This is vegan, um, against animal testing, fantastic. And it's in the colour Pecan. Take just another one of these brushes, because um, I want to use all these today. And I'm just going like, to go in it like this, to see how much it picks up. And I'm just going to press that on top of anywhere that I empowered it, basically. See, now I look at my skin and I'm like, I should have gone darker. To be fair, you can always mix foundation colours, like, but... I was like, Hannah, we're not going to put a dark foundation on today, are we? No. Bronzer time! So guys, I have two bronzers as well. I've got the Technic Superfine Matte Bronzing Powder. Shade Dark. Might be too dark for me. <laughs> and then I've got the Ofra Blush Bronzer Duo Compact. Um, oh, I'm going to blind you guys. So I love how that bronzer looks. I think I'm going to go with this one because maybe pop that on after. Big bronzer brush. Now, I actually popped this in this video because I've been telling you guys, I know you can't buy this one anymore, but this is what, a little bit similar. So I'm going to try it out for you guys in this video, but it's like a bit of a bigger bronzer brush, but a bronzer brush is supposed to be big. We're not contouring, we're bronzing the skin because that, Clearly I need it right now. The contrast is a bit. So it just says you knit blush and bronzer. Um, so I'm gonna to try to just get the bronzer out of there. But I'm getting a little bit of the blush, but I'm just trying to not get that. I'm just gonna go on. In fact, I'm gonna tap it on first because I know it's gonna go. Oh my God, that looks fantastic. See what I mean? It's like, okay, never mind. Ignore me. It's adding up now. I'm going to tap it on first though, just because I don't want it to like go on too crazy. <laughs> Let me tap it on. Like it is pigmented, like I'm seeing it. Oh uh, yeah, I've fallen in love with this brush now. This is the Jaclyn Hill JHO2. So the Times by Morphe. I'm going to tell you what brush it was. And I feel like it's blending better because it's a bigger brush. Like, you've not been as concentrated with it. I don't know. I'm really liking it. I'm going to like the my face. <laughs> One thing I was saying in 2022, I was like, I am not going to say I love every product that I use. I use the word love a lot. And I'm like, do you know what? I really like this product. I really like this product. When I say love now, I'm like, right. So that is one of my top products. So I can't say I love a product um, if I ain't used it more than once. Um, I, I can say I think I'm going to love it, but I'm not going to jump straight to it anymore because I'm like, I can't tell you guys I love everything, everything I use. Um, to be fair, I'm quite particular as well. I'm bronzing the nose. Um, I will not, if I know that I, I I'm not going to get on with a product, I won't put it in my video. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm really happy with how it's looking. <laughs> can you tell my like, face? I'm like, ah! pop a little bit just so you can try it on camera, that on. I think they sent me this out months ago, guys. Right. I'm gonna be very careful. To be fair, these brushes are amazing as well. The Morphe, Ariel, Ariel. I wanna say Ariel. So far, so good. This is a blush brush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the blush from this little duo. I'm trying not to get the bronzer on it. It has a lot of kickback though. Look at that. I think that looks a bit crazy on camera, but in person it's nice and soft. It's the like, do you know a blush? It has to be the right like um, finish as well. It can't just be like, if it's matte, it has to be a good matte. If it's like glowy, it has to be a good glowy. Um, but that on camera is showing up a lot more than I might touch. So I'm gonna take my, my bronzer brush. And just whack it over. So the highlight I've got, Ofra Milk and Cookies one. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Like it's just got two halves and it's like more gold. Oh, look at that. It's like this little highlight brush. Cute. Oh, let me spray the face first. This is the Ofra Makeup Fixer, a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. That is a huge bottle as well. We have got four, no, 240 mils in here. Not the breast spray, but oh my God, my skin looks wet. 
did I spray too much on? I probably did. If you like a wet setting mist to drench you, you'll love that one because that's literally just drenched my skin. Just so it's not going crazy. Because I want it to be like nice and dewy, not wet. <laughs> I kind of like mix in between them because I've got two shades. I'm just going to mix that like that. And then I'm just gonna use the side of the brush. And then a little bit on the end of the nails. And the chin. Let me do brows. Let me finish my brows off, guys. Again, I'm gonna go in with the Wonder Whip Pencil. So this is by Pink Honey. So it's just a little micro pencil. Um, I don't think it says it on the thing, but it might be dark brown or medium, but I think it's dark brown. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly... Do you know what? That's actually stayed in place. Props to that like, eyebrow product. What, what did I use again? The Pink Honey Original Super Hold. Because most like the ones that are water activated, they move around quite a lot and these are actually like stain put. Actually fantastic. I'm not saying love in this video, guys. I'm just gonna like literally softly fill this in. And then. I definitely need to sit down t and chat to you guys though. Like, I just, I just love sharing with you guys like what's going on off in my life and stuff. I still can't believe we're in 2022. Like, I know it's gonna be an amazing year. But I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm gonna be 25 this year. Like, that's not all, but I'm like, oh, I'm getting on a bit. I've got foundation on that brush and I forgot. I need to buy some makeup wipes because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Medium concealer. I'm just gonna go under my brows. I'm just really lazy when it comes to my brows, guys. I just like to map it out with concealer. And I could put a little bit more eye base on because we're going in with eyeshadow next anyways. It did look lovely before I got makeup on it. Um, this is the Make Revolution Overnight Influencer. Influencer Overnight. Like, oh, this was the most exciting one. So this is like, you know, like pencil tins. And look at all the colours we get in here. Oh, I'm going to use the cream one today, I think. Let me just use it now and see what it looks like. I'm gonna put it to the test to see if it's any good. Ah, <gasps> I'm happy with that. Can you see that? I'm, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. In fact, we're doing eyes. I really like how it looks. We've got some brushes, but I'm gonna put this in the giveaway. It comes with like a leather like pouch thing as well. It comes with this book, which I, I've just like flipped through. It goes from like your unique qualities, so then you write that down. And then I've got little bits where it's like Thursday, um, I woke up at, I fell asleep at, how I fell on a scale of 1 to 10, and then 5 a.m. till 12 a.m. And it's just my achievement. And then we've got like little quotes. It's a really nice book. And I'm like, oh my god, they sent it out to me in PR. And I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to like fill this in and go through it. Um, they came in individual packaging this, but it's like a kind of like a bookcase. Um, let me see you guys out so you can actually see. It's like a bookcase like that. So we've got three eyeshadow palettes, one colourful and two more neutrals. Ring light ready. This is Marvy Cool Tones. Soft Glam is more, obviously, your warm neutrals, goldens. From zero to a hundred. If you want me to do a colourful look with this palette, let me know down below, guys. Go in and use the Ring Light Ready palette today. Again, I'm going to try to use all the Morphe brushes. So I'm going to go in with this brown here. I'm just going to pop that. Oh, it's not too dark. So I haven't set my base, guys. Oh, should I do this eye for Instagram now? But I've already just done that, so I'm gonna just do this first part. I could go darker than that, though, couldn't I? I could go darker. Oh, that is lovely. It like blends out nice and softly on the edges. Like it doesn't just like to say I'm powdered my base it hasn't like gone on too harsh 
But then again, this isn't in, like a ridiculously dark colour anyway, so. I mean, Makeup Revolution have never disappointed me when it comes to eyeshadow. Again, we're gonna go in with more like a neutral brown. So that one there. This is the Morphe M506 brush, guys. I'm tapping it off just so it doesn't go on too heavy because I feel like I don't want it to fall all over my face. Oh, I like that. That colour there. I'm going to take that all the way up to the brow bone. Blending, like it's got a little bit creased on the eye there. See what I mean? Let me blend that out properly. And then I'll do this one as well. So I'm trying to blend that out. So it's kind of creased on the eyelid a little bit. I don't know if it's because of the concealer underneath. Go in with this shimmer here. The word oh. I think you can see it in the viewfinder. It looks so nice. Oh, I'm going to quickly finish this out because my battery is flashing. And that's scaring me. I'm gonna use the darkest colour that we use underneath the eye on a little tiny black brush, but I'm just gonna coat just the outer third like that, and then a little bit on top. Get a little bit of the black from the palette as well. Let's test out the black. Ooh. Ooh, that is a nice black. And no fallout still. Okay, God, we've got this reputation back. When I was thinking I was blending it out in the outer corner, I was like, ooh, is this not blending? A little bit of black underneath there. So let me just blend that. And I'm just taking the excess off, off this brush and just buffing all the way underneath my eye. I think I'm going to go in with these Lash Gang lashes. Um, this is the style. This is the style, the OG. They are so fluffy. So nice. And not too overpowering. <gasps> mm, we're gonna go in with them. So be perfect, I've come out with lip liners and lipsticks. Super creamy. Um, this is the lip liner in the shade Tame. As always, 20% off with the code 20 blend. So super creamy. The lipstick is in the colour Raw. This is my favourite nude from there. Like a nudie nude, not a pink nude. A nudie nude, you know what I mean? Like that kind of nude. Like. It's not too peachy, but not too brown. It's like a little bit of mix. Oh, and these are the satin ones. They have matte ones and satin ones. I picked satin. All right, let me do this eye off camera. I'm back. This is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you if you got to the end of this video. If you did enjoy watching this video, give me a thumbs up down below. It's literally just go down below. And just click it if you like the video, if you want more like this. And I should see you guys in my next one. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.